Hello, lovely people. I am indeed alive. <sighs> Today is the first day I felt like I've come up for air. I feel vaguely normal. If you're new around these parts, I'm Rashenda, usually a budget food vlogger. I like to come up with creative, cheap recipes because I am attempting to save money, but for some reason, it never seems to happen. Sometimes there's a tax bill. Sometimes my car goes wrong. Sometimes something's wrong with my cat. The eternal battle rages. <coughs> <coughs> so those that follow me will know that I was roughly four days into a vegan budget weekly challenge. When I came down with what I call a chest infection of hell and what the nurse at the surgery calls bacterial pneumonia. Absolutely no surprise that I've come down with illness. I had loads of stressful things happen at work. We lost a load of clients. My mum passed away. She wasn't even ill. So within a week she got ill and passed away. Then something went wrong with my car. I had to get a new car. So financially I'm like, what? And then my cat was sick. And then finally I'm sick. Also, I have been running myself completely ragged with work. I set up a marketing business about two years ago. And at first, it was just me in the shed. And I look back and almost those were the glory days. And things have grown. I've got staff now. We've got things to do. And I do get excited by it all. I love it. Otherwise, I wouldn't do it. But I do work too hard. Like There's no, not enough downtime. I haven't been working out. I haven't really been eating properly. It's just carnage. I started to get ill. And it was popping up in my videos, this cough. And then eventually I was completely flatlined. And I had quite a lot of my subscribers saying, get to the doctor. Because I was trying to survive on naughtily. So antibiotics I already had in the drawer. And ibuprofen. And covonia. Other cough medicines are available. <coughs> <coughs> As you can see, I've still got it now. But nothing was really shifting it, so I went down to see a nurse, Terry. Nurse Terry, if you're watching, shout out. You are a lovely woman. She looks after me. And she prescribed me some antibiotics, which are correct for my unwellness, which was doxy, doxycycline. I probably pronounced that completely wrong. Doxycycline. Doxy, as I like to call it. Very short course. I had to take two on the first day, and then I had to take one on the next following day so I've got two left so the whole shebang would be two weeks of this crazy cough chest infection run downness also I rang up and I said look I haven't been sleeping my sleeping's been absolutely mad they gave me some sleeping tablets clone, quite a low dose I believe 3.75 megagrams milligrams they said try not to get addicted to these because they're very addictive I was like I ain't got no time to be addicted to medication because I've got really business to run. YouTube channel to film. Videos aren't going to film themselves, are they? But all joking aside, I took one of those a couple of nights ago. And after an hour, nothing was happening. So I thought, I'll take another one. Like a knob. I didn't take any last night. Didn't need to. I've been sleeping all the time. Sleep, 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 sleep. <coughs> <coughs> so... I woke up this morning, I felt vaguely human. I couldn't believe it, apart from the cough. I took my antibiotic, immediately felt really, really sick. I was like, oh no, I feel sicky. Apparently you're supposed to eat something while you take these. I hadn't done that. So, went down to the kitchen. Kitchen looks like a, a bonsai has hit it. There's so much crap everywhere. The bins smell. I opened up the fridge to try and get something snackable in there stunk to high heaven looked at the fruit bowl one manky peach not even worth trying to eat it looked off thought oh no what am i going to do let's bang some peanut butter in me and today i have absolutely got to sort that kitchen out we've got some tasks today one need to tidy out that kitchen and the fridge the fridge is scabby i will show you the fridge two beanie the nickname for my beloved cat jack He's on the men now from his fight. He, you're always getting bullied, by the way. He's out of snacks. There's no fresh chicken for him. There's no dreamies. There's no lick sticks. 
It's literally just water and kibble. I even got him a short run of the... I even got him a short run of cat food. Sheba, which he quite enjoyed. There's literally nothing down there that's fun for him. And every time I go down, he's like, meow, crying. I'm like, there's your kibble, your water. And he's like, eh, I don't want that. I've got to go and get provisions for Jack, at the very least. That involves going to some form of supermarché. And number three, I need to get some food for myself. I think we might have to knock the vegan food challenge on its head for this week. Knowing we failed. I failed. I failed you. We just did four days out of the seven. This week, I'm on a mission to get well. And we're going to do that through Dr. Food. Oh, almost forgot to tell you. I've got a cough sweet on the go. Hope that's okay. I panicked bought some alternative things to help me with my chest as per some recommendations from my lovely subscribers. One is this one. Can you see that? That is Mullion Leaf and Thyme. Apparently very good for chesticles. And then this. Clean Lungwort Extract Capsules. Very good for the lungs. We need to look after the lungs. Anyone tried these? Let me know. One other thing I'm going to do today is create a timetable for my life because things have been chaos and I've not made time to see family, see loved ones, work out, do things that bring me joy. Can't have this going on. Can't just all be work, work, work. And that I think will be beneficial to my health and well-being as well.